Cordelia, let's start with the good news. Uh, we were on the air yesterday when President Biden made the announcement that there would be enough vaccine supply in this country by the end of May to vaccinate every American. Um, what does that look like? That is a whole lot of logistical, massive logistical efforts. That's right. I, I think that now that supply potentially is looking like the easier part of this between now and, and, and May, as long as manufacturing capacity continues to be what they've predicted it to be, the big effort now will be that distribution and it's going to be that equity. And it, it really literally means getting out to all the communities that are affected. Um, and it means, you know, keeping track now of these three different vaccines. But I think it's it's doable. It's doable with enough uh, just, you know, resources behind it and enough sort of heart to try to bring um, all the the communities that have felt left out outside of this. The thing that does worry me is is what Dr. Wolinski talked about today, which is this variance in, in states' adoptions of the CDC recommendations of what we do between now and then, you know, and, and generally there is some variance in the way the states adopt CDC um guidance, like when we look at H1N1, like in Ebola, they dealt differently with re returning responders. But the amount of variance we've seen recently with states and, and how they interpret and adopt CDC guidance is, is worrisome uh, to me as we move forward and is a sign of our times and how politically divided we are. This might be a dumb question, but I live in New York where all the anti-smoking messages are brutal and blunt and graphic. And I wonder if the public messaging should be more brutal, blunt and graphic. Don't be the last person to die of COVID. I think we we need to drive that, you know, what Dolly Parton just said. So one, thank you, Ms. Parton, for, for the donations, because clearly the biomedical community clearly gained from it, as did the rest of us. But the big part of the point that she just made, if you're dead, it's too late. I do think we need to drive that home. But it's also we need to have a message of hope, which is that this is how we return to normalcy. It's not just fear, but this is this is our united responsibility of returning our, our, our communities and our economy back to normal. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.